If you suffer from bladder leaks, urgency, or frequency, and you've ever wondered if maybe you should just cut back on how much you're drinking during the day to try to save your bathroom trips and to try to lessen your need for pads or having bladder leaks, this video is for you. I'm Brittany Cappiello from My Core Floor, here to talk a little bit today about hydration and the bladder. So when I work with one-on-one -on -one clients who are coming in to see me or working with me virtually and talking to me about their incontinence issues, their urgency issues, their frequency issues, one of the first things I ask them is how much they're drinking during the day and what they're drinking during the day. It's really important because there are certain fluids and foods that are more acidic or irritating and that can um, irritate the bladder lining because the urine gets acidic from those things. It's really important to make sure you're getting enough water because that will also make the urine really acidic, which will irritate the bladder lining. So it's actually the opposite of what you would assume. Most women tell me they drink less because they don't wanna to go to the bathroom and they don't wanna leak. But drinking less causes the urine to get more acidic. So if you're drinking less and combining that with caffeine, combining it with um, spicy foods, fruits that are acidic, uh, like grapefruits or oranges, um, drinking orange juice in the morning, any of those sort of things combined with not enough water will actually make the urine acidic, irritate the bladder lining. When the bladder lining gets irritated, what happens is the bladder starts to spasm. If your pelvic floor muscles aren't ready for that spasm, that's when you're likely to leak. That spasm will also create a sense of urgency, and so it will give you that sense of increasing urgency and will also often lead to an increasing frequency. So let's not drink less if we're dealing with those issues. Now, that said, I have some women that will leave and tell me they went from drinking 16 to 24 ounces a day to 80 ounces a day and they've been in the bathroom constantly and they're leaking and they're frustrated and they don't believe me with what I said because I told them if they drink more, the bladder would be less irritated because the urine wouldn't be acidic. But there is a learning curve for your body. If you have been drinking 16 to 24 ounces a day, your, blood, your body is not used to being fully hydrated. So you've got to increase your fluid intake gradually. So if you're drinking 16 to 24 ounces a day, what I want you to do is I want you to increase by a half a water bottle to a water bottle a day, okay? We're starting slow. Your body has to get used to having more fluid in it, better hydration, and that's when you're going to start to see where you're not having increased urgency, less leaking because the bladder is less irritated because the urine is not as acidic. The goal for how much you should be drinking is half of your body weight in ounces per day of water. So if you weigh 150 pounds, you should be shooting to drink 75 ounces a day. If you've been at 16 ounces a day, you're not going to get to 75 right away, right? So it's 16 ounces, then maybe you go to 24 ounces, then maybe you go to 32 ounces. So it's over the course of each day, you're gradually increasing your fluid intake so your body can start to adjust to full hydration. When you do that, the urine will become less acidic, your bladder is less likely to spasm, less likely to be irritated, and symptoms should start to improve, but it's not an overnight. So have some patience, have some water, and let's get that bladder back in um, shape and back on track where it's not being irritated by super acidic urine. On that note, have something to drink, fill up that water bottle, and we'll talk soon. Take care.